Now then, it's going to be a big, big night tonight uh, at the local museum uh, because, well, this weekend, you've probably heard of it before, Museums at the Night Festival, where galleries, museums and heritage centres all over the country opening their doors uh, after hours. Uh, which, and it can be very special to be in a place which is normally only open during the day, isn't it? Uh, Chichester's Novium, one of those taking part. We'll speak to them in a second. Uh, but first, Rosie Clark from Culture24. Hello, Rosie. Hello. Wow. Um, uh, there is something special about being in places which aren't supposed to be open at night. And it's, it's great being there, isn't it? There's something absolutely magical about them, definitely. I mean, places like the Weald and Downland Museum, I don't know if you've ever been there, mm-hmm. but um, all these historic buildings set in acres of parkland, and if you're there after hours, you get to watch the sun set, they're lighting up the fires inside the buildings, you really get an impression of what it would have been like to be a medieval villager or someone in Tudor times. Yes, I, I love the way you, you, you sell it very well. But then again, <laughs> that's your job. And, 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 you know, I think it's quite an easy thing to sell, really, because, I mean, we, we all go to museums, but actually to see it in a different context, and there's a lot of special events going on as, associated with these, uh, it actually makes it a bit of a treat, really, doesn't it? It really does, yeah. I mean, we have over 700 events happening as part of the festival over the next couple of nights. So if you want to find out what's on near you, because there are so many, check out www.museumsatnight.org.uk. Now, you know about the whole of the UK, don't you? So c- can you tell me what is the strangest nighttime thing that's going on in the whole of the UK? Oh, some of the strangest... Um, um, I mean, there's places like Arnos Vale Cemetery in Bristol. Now, this is an ancient Victorian cemetery, and they're bringing in an artist called Julia Vogel, and uh, they're leading tours all around the bizarre Victorian graves. So that's going to be a bit spooky, actually, going down into mausoleums. But that's a heritage site as well, and it's one that maybe not many people would have had the chance to get to. Right. And wasn't there the, the chap, uh, the the artist who gets people to take their clothes off and photograph? Because uh, we were trying, yes. we were trying to get him uh, to go to the Jerwood or or to, to Brighton, but in the end he's gone to Kent, hasn't he? Yes, yeah, he actually he took the photos yesterday of um, people prepared to get their kit off for yeah. art. Um, but no, there, there have been there was a brilliant event at Brighton Museum last night, so even though they didn't get Spencer, they still did a terrific event. And in fact, um, at the Jerwood Gallery uh, tonight, they're doing something different as well. And I have a special uh, discount code for listeners. Oh. If you... Uh, call up the Jerwood Gallery and quote the code BARON10, that's BARON10, you can get discount tickets to this Baron's Art School. There's puppetry, there's performances, and you can have a go at drawing yourself. Thank you very much indeed. Let's, let's, let's hear about the, uh, the Novium tonight. And uh, joining us on the line is Catherine Coleman. Hello, Catherine. Hello. Hello. Hi. So, sleep over at your place then. Yeah, we're having a big sleepover, which is really exciting because it's something that I've always wanted to do. Um, And we ran one recently with brownies, and this one is for families tonight. So people are going to come from 7 o'clock, and um, we're going to have a big welcome to start it all off. Um, And then we're going to turn all the lights off, have a torch-lit tour of the museum, and look at all the weird and wonderful objects that we've got on display. Um, And then we've got some crafts, we've got a building, bathhouse challenge, um, then a story time, and then bed, yeah, snuggling down our sleeping bags. And are you allowed to sleep anywhere in the Novium? We are going to sleep in the top floor of the Novium because that's the biggest space. And, actually, it's got the best objects to come. We can sleep next to the uh, funeral beer or the um, stocks. So people could have imagined what they, uh, that might have been like, putting your feet in those stocks. <laughs> right. Are, are you all sold out for tonight, or is there still room? There's still a few tickets, not very many left. Um, so if people are interested, then they do need to be quick. Um, and all the information for that is on our website, thenovium.org, um, all our contact details and things. Fantastic. Uh, thank you, thank you, Catherine. Have a great night. And if people want to find out about the events, that, if you just want to search for a museum and event near them, what do they do then? Uh, just go to www.museumsatnight.org.uk. Now on the programme, this weekend sees the annual Museums at Night Festival where museums, galleries and heritage centres all over the country open their doors in the evening to host a variety of cultural events. Many in Sussex, Surrey and Hampshire also take part, giving people an extra chance to explore their collections after hours. Rosie Clark is from the charity Culture 24, which is organising the festival. She joins me in the studio now. Hello. Hello, thank this, you for having me. This sounds, this is such a lovely idea, isn't it? Do you know what? 
it's really fantastic because I think we all know what it's like if you're working nine to five. It can be so difficult to get out and see some of the fantastic museums and galleries and historic houses that there are. But opening late for these next three nights, there's going to be so many chances to bring your friends, bring your family and just discover some of the arts and heritage that's on your doorstep. Well, give us a little bit of a a flavour then of what's going on locally. What are the museums that are taking part in this area? Oh, well, there's quite a lot. Um, Just to make it clear, there's over 700 events all over the UK and you can find everything that's going on at www.museumsatnight.org.uk. But to give you some of the highlights, um, at Brighton Museum tonight... Um, they've got a big event called Paint It Late. It's £5 to get in and you can discover the secrets behind famous paintings. Um, You can play doodling games. You can recreate paintings with your friends with a new service called Van Gogh Yourself. Uh, They've got the the world's smallest silent disco and you can join in Paint It Like Pollock. It's a big collaborative drip painting canvas. It's going to be hilarious. You can swig cocktails, listen to music, have a go at all this stuff. Isn't it amazing how much museums have changed um, from sort of dusty objects behind cabinets to really being a lot of fun oh definitely yes yeah i mean i think museums recognize that to to get people in this is like it's an alternative night out you know if you were thinking of maybe going down the pub or something why not go to something completely (laughs) different in a heritage space it's just it's something very unusual and it's a night to remember it really is what else have you got for us then what else have i got well um if you are anywhere near hastings the jerwood gallery are doing something very interesting Interesting. It's called the Baron's Art School. It's a strange and enchanting world, and they say paintings are really going to come to life. So there's an artist performing this, leading the sort of the drawing and the performance, and there's a puppeteer as well, Isabel Smith. It's going to be a really unusual sort of workshop that you can get hands on with art stuff. And they've given me a special offer to tell you about that if you phone up Joe at Art Gallery and say Baron 10, you get a <laughs> big discount on the ticket. You can get in for only £10. Fantastic. So that's to Tomorrow night. Another thing we've got going on tomorrow night is at the Novium Museum over um, in Chichester. Now, this one is a sleepover, a family friendly sleepover. Starts at 7 15 pm tomorrow night. Um, it's suitable for if you've got kids aged between about 7 and 13, and it's £15 per person. And you can bring your sleeping bag and snuggle down next to all these spooky objects. There's activity making, storytelling, torchlight tours, that maybe even incredible. A, a midnight feast in a museum. It doesn't get better than that. And and Surrey as well. There are there are all sorts of things going on. Surrey, but across all of our area, aren't there? Yes, yeah. Um, the Brooklands Museum in Weybridge. I don't know if you've ever been there, but they have a lot of vintage things, and they are doing the 1940s relived. So bring bring your best 1940s outfit, lace up your dance shoes, and they're doing a street party, and it's from 10 a.m. on Saturday till 11:45 p.m. They're doing dance classes. They're doing jive, jitterbug, Lindy Hop. If you love Strictly. This is one for you. There's a swing band, two-tone boogie, vintage portrait studio. It's going to be fabulous. Aren't we lucky? We've got such wide and varied museums in our patch, all all within um, very easy distance. We really do. And it's not just museums as well. It's art galleries. It's historic houses. It's places like New Haven Fort and the Ridout in Eastbourne and Bateman's, the National Trust Historic House, even Hearst Monceau Observatory. (laughs) And and you're particularly excited because the BBC are doing a special one-hour program Program looking at this event, aren't they? Yes, it's going it's to be terrific. We are here at Culture 24, we are dead chuffed, if you don't mind me <laughs> saying so. It's on BBC Two at 7 pm on Saturday night, and it's got Will Gompertz, who's the head of, uh, he's the BBC Arts Editor, and he's going to be reporting back from all kinds of Museums Night events all over the UK, from places as tiny as the Fagnum Museum of Gas in Norfolk or the Museum of Witchcraft down in Cornwall, and it all comes from um, the National Museum of Scotland. It's going to be amazing. Amazing. Sounds incredible and so much thought and effort has gone into this. So uh, make sure you, uh, what was the website where people can find out more? The website is www.museumsatnight.org.uk.